All right. So here we have a 2008 Lincoln Navigator low miles private limousine. Super nice. It's got the uh, direct TV satellite system um, in here. It's uh, let's do a walk around. We got new rubber all the way around. Uh, it only has 44,000 miles. I'll look at the odometer here in a second, but. We'll do a walk around real quick. It's a little dusty from being in the shop. It's here to just have a general look over and uh, check electrical. We just put a new battery in the uh, rear system. It had the original one still in there. Uh, that's pretty common with private limousines. They don't get a lot of use. So let's go inside. Super clean. You see the driver's seat's not all worn out uh, like you see most of the time. Let's get inside. All right, so we have a uh, upgraded stereo um, with a satellite radio. We'll put it as a reverse camera. That's the back of the shop. So, all right, we have uh, all the controls of the factory navigator. Uh, heated and cooled seats so that's a, a really nice feature all right and then we have our miles right there 44 37 and then you can cycle through all the information on your screen like I said this is a uh, factory option with the Lincoln very nice truck all right, and then we have uh, you know a few add-ons. We have our driver's controls for the rear system, where you can remove the divider up and down the intercom, and then the battery jump switch. That's a very nice feature. A lot of people who are not familiar with limousines, uh, what that is is if you get in the car and for some reason the car won't start, you can push this, and it will click. Listen. And what that does is that jump starts either the front or the back, whichever one's not working, it joins the two systems. Uh, we have the divider <clears throat> behind the driver. And then all of our controls, fuses, and accessories that have to do with the limousine are in the back here behind these snaps. You can just pull this curtain right here underneath the seat and... Uh, or behind the seats and then that'll expose all your internals for the limousine controls one thing that's really neat about this limo let me pop the hood is it has oh well let's look at the AC I was thinking all right so let's turn this on so we're pretty cold uh, it's running right now uh, one thing a neat feature about this limousine that that I, I mean I've seen hundreds of them but in a private limousine that's not a stretch, it actually has a second alternator. So you have a dual alternator system. And, uh, and it's charging very well. You can see it's very clean. It's, I mean, it's 40,000 miles. It's, it's, it's like brand new, so. Uh, and then there's your, you have your uh, accessories, your controls. That's gonna be your jump, your battery jump system all right so let's go ahead and go in the back I went ahead and put a uh, DVD back there uh, so the TVs in the divider which is very nice uh, have a you have your flip seats for if you need to carry two extra people all right the door lights are a really nice accent. That's not factory. Uh, they added that on there. And then, of course, everything to do with the divider. So your, your two captain's chairs back there are fully electric. All right. And then in the back over here, we have a electric tailgate. That's a factory option on the Navigator. 
We have a subwoofers in the back seat, and then all of your audio controls, your amplifiers and everything is are in this right here. You push it down, and then you twist it, and then lift up. And that's gonna expose the amplifiers, the uh, crossovers, and they're all labeled really nice. This is a very good install. So in case there's any issues or anything like that, it's not very hard at all for a technician to get back here and dial it in. So between the seats you have a, a trash, you have a storage right here, uh, you have another storage up, up here, um, multiple cup holders and another storage right here. So let's go inside and sit down and play with the buttons, huh? Push the button, drops the tailgate. And there's also a tailgate control for the driver on the dashboard. Okay, right here we have our pedestal mount for the table. Um, we have our video uh, power inverter and accessory plug-in. Okay, we have a CD, DVD player, Bluetooth, everything. You can connect your phone to this. Uh, touch screen. Um, right here we're going to play. Uh, we'll just pick one, I guess, and then continue. So this be this is an interactive DVD. Uh, so it's going to go ahead and go through what it goes through. So right here we have our controls. Um, we're gonna go ahead and try to get it in the picture so you can see this is your window controls from the back. And then also on the doors you actually have, still have the factory controls right here. So you can roll the windows up and down if the driver has them in the unlocked position. So we have our divider control here. You can see the divider going down and then so, so all your controls are right here. You have your climate controls. You can hear it. AC's working great. We have our bar lights. We're gonna try to get those in the picture, so we'll turn them off. On. Uh, our TV switch here turns off. Back on. We can do our uh, lights on the top. They go on and off intercom uh, rear vents open now what this is if you push this it's going to go ahead and open the side glass which are the factory vent glasses so if you wanted to get some air or something happened in here you can let the vent out so the sound system is fantastic uh, let's see if we can't just change it and get some music in here so you have your auxiliary controls uh, Bluetooth audio. You know, on this Pioneer head unit, you can go ahead and just Google the controls. Uh, you can connect your telephone, of course. I don't have it connected right now. Your right now. satellite radio. This is, uh, it doesn't have a subscription right now, but you can call it in and give them the number. And then your uh, regular radio. So, um, let's see, band. I mean, we have just fantastic sound in this thing. I don't know how good it's going to come across in the video, but... Sounds great. Back here you have your vanity mirrors with lights. Okay, and then you have these lights up here and they turn on and off. All right, let's check the temperature on our AC. AC's blowing pretty good. So, as you can see, it's a little chilly. I'm gonna go ahead and get out. Just pull open the door. Step out. 
We'll do one more walk around. You can also pause it if you see anything in here. I mean, there's a couple little, I mean, we have some dust from, you know, shop dust. You can see that. Uh, just needs to be washed. The paint's in exceptional shape. There's a couple small uh, details. Uh, we have the custom grill on there. You can see that. Everything's blacked out except the Lincoln emblem. Um, let's see, uh, what else? The custom wheels, they're very nice. Drives great, like brand new. We have a little bit to take care of on the handles. That's pretty normal. 